Hi, my name is Sen and today we are going to have a quick introduction of various Sitecore menu options. As you can see, I have Sitecore Rocks installed as Visual Studio plugin and we can look at available menu options. Let's get an understanding of the various options one by one. If you have already installed Sitecore Rocks, the first option you notice is New Connection. If you would like to know how to install Sitecore Rocks, please watch Installing Sitecore Rocks video from the Rock series list. The New Connection menu option lets you quickly create a connection to Sitecore instance as we see in the following demo. The New Connection menu option lets you quickly create a connection to Sitecore instance. Choose your Sitecore instance and just say test. Yes, it works. Say OK. And you will find your instance in Sitecore Explorer. For a detailed video on how to connect to Sitecore instance using Sitecore Rocks, please watch Creating a Connection video from Sitecore Rocks series list. The next menu option, Start Page, opens Sitecore Start Page and provides us shortcut to commonly used commands and useful links such as Partner Network and Developer Network. Let's have a closer look at it. Clicking on Start Page menu option launches Sitecore Start Page. The Sitecore Start Page has lots of commands on its various tabs. The Get Started tab gives you lots of options such as to create a new Sitecore website, create a new Sitecore connection, or launch the Explorer. It also links you to useful Sitecore sites like Partner Network and Developer Network. We can go to its multiple sub-tabs and we find lots of options related to web.config, system items, and extending. Moving on to Sitecore Rocks tab gives you opportunity to learn more about Sitecore Rocks, how to extend Sitecore Rocks, and to know about its various plugins. We can move to Content tab and it gives us options related to items, media, and publishing. Similarly, moving on developer tabs gives us options to query related to deployment and serialization. And lastly, we move to system tab to find options related to performance, indexing, and system health. You can also move to maintenance subtabs to remove temporary files and to restore from Sitecore Recycle Bin. Now, let's move to next menu option. This brings us to next option, Sitecore Explorer. The Sitecore Explorer menu option launches Sitecore Explorer. The Sitecore Explorer is similar to SQL Explorer and lets you drill down all the databases and items. Let's check out the Sitecore Explorer. Let's launch the Sitecore Explorer. I like Sitecore Explorer to be docked on the left of Visual Studio. The Sitecore Explorer shows you the existing connections and you can drill down to database of your choice. Sitecore Explorer is the window that connects Sitecore websites to Visual Studio, thereby increasing developer productivity. Let's go and look at the fourth menu option, Folder. The Folders menu options launches the Folder dialog where you can see your saved folders for items, query and search. Let's go and have a look at it. As we see, the Folders dialog has options to create new item folder, new query folders, and new search folders. We will learn more about them later in separate discussions. Let's look at the next Sitecore menu option. The Tasks menu option provides a list of common Sitecore tasks. Let's look at some common Sitecore tasks. The Task menu option 
gives us a list of commonly used sitecore tasks like duplicate a sitecore website, install sitecore website, uninstall sitecore website. This list is configurable so you can add your own sitecore tasks. We'll be discussing tasks in a separate dedicated discussion. Let's look at the next sitecore menu option. The plugin menu option displays a list of all the installed Sitecore Rocks plugins. Let's look at the installed Sitecore plugin list in my installation. The plugins options launches the install plugins dialog box. As you can see, I have lots of plugins installed. We can develop our own plugins and install them. We can also uninstall and update plugin as required. Let's look at the next menu option. The plugin repository menu option connects us to Sitecore Rock plugin library. Let's have a look at the library. Once you click on Sitecore plugin repository, it launches Sitecore plugin repository. Please note down the URL. You can select from all the available plugin and install plugins of your choice. Let's look at the next option. Extensions are lightweight functionality added to core application layer. If you wish, you can design your extensions and add them to Sitecore Rocks. Let's have a look at the extensions. The extensions menu options launches the extensions dialog. The extension dialogs gives us capability to add, edit, delete or refresh the extension. You can also choose whether to enable Sitecore Rocks extensions in context menu or not. As you can see, I don't have any extensions installed. Let's look at the next menu option. The command cheat sheet menu option gets us an XML file having list of all the available Sitecore commands and shortcuts. Let's look at the available commands in the XML file. Let's launch the command cheat sheet. This opens commands.xml. Let's toggle all the sections. As you can see, all the commands are grouped based on the component or the feature. Let's look at the commands related to content tree. As you can see, we have the name of the command and optional keyboard shortcut. The next option, Sitecore Marketplace, is home to more than 100 Sitecore modules. It's a good idea to first look at Marketplace for a new functionality required in your project before you begin developing it. Let's look at Sitecore Marketplace. The Sitecore Marketplace menu option launches the Sitecore Marketplace website. The Sitecore Marketplace website lets you filter your modules based on whether they have been developed by Sitecore or they are shared source or third party modules. You can also filter them by categories or based on the version of CMS you are running. You can also filter based on the modules tested by Sitecore or supported by Sitecore. The next menu option, Sitecore Rock website, links to Rock's features, tutorials and documentations. Let's have a look at the Sitecore Rock website. The Sitecore Rock website menu option launches the Sitecore Rock website. As you can see, we have Sitecore Rock's tutorials and has useful links to installation, release notes, downloads, plugin repositories and others. Let's look at the last menu option. The last menu option about is Sitecore Rocks about page with common about page details. Let's have a look at it. Once you click the about menu option, it brings us Sitecore Rocks about page. You can find some useful details like the current version of Sitecore Rocks and all the standard about page details. We welcome your feedback. Please provide your comments or feedback on YouTube video channel. Please also tell us what is the next topic of your choice or what is the next feature you would like to learn.
Psycho Rock is a passion of the Rock Guy with Twitter handle at the Rock Guy.